Hello everyone and welcome to Tampa Never Sleeps, a special edition of Friday Night Marvel with the LCQ happening followed directly by the championship bracket. My name is Proxy joined here. On my left, Mr. Brandon Osfeld, Southpaw Flash. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. I'm ready for some Marvel. And on my right, early birthday wishes to the homie, Mr. Tong Lee. How you doing, sir? Bro, I'm old, man. I'm so old. <laughs> I'm about to turn 37 tomorrow, <laughs> bro. <laughs> we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose our favorite joke. <laughs> 37. <laughs> we, can, uh, once you, you can, we can start passing you the ball again. No. And your Herman said, "I'm winning season seven. Okay, oh, the guy you call your shot hella early. <laughs> I like the confidence. No, I appreciate that for sure. Here we go. We're straight into our match. Actually, it's going to be NPH coming against JC. Okay, charging star able to get the hit and confirms it there with the Iron Man. Using that beam to great effect, but drops the combo and MPH free to roam once again. Watching the grenade right there. I do like MPH's team for this setup. I mean, Cap generally will blow Chris up here, but you have you have Badra. It's hard to deal with that. There we go. It actually connects on the last hit right there. Chip is going to be a factor here. Okay, and jumps with the machine gun. Very nice. I <laughs> love it. The dash forward, throw the grenade, and wait, man. The patience right there from MPH. There we go. Two bars on deck. Have enough with the flamethrower here. Chris can take care of Iron Man. Going to be up to Dormammu here. Definitely a character that, like, is a pseudo-dark anchor and can do it. Oh! oh he no, okay, isn't fully able to confirm, though, off the Molotov, so it's not quite there, but still a very bad spot here for JC. Oh, the fish hook right there, almost connected. Looking for a throw, but couldn't quite get it at the super. Got to claim X-Factor, definitely. Oh, no, did not want to spin the bar, but that's definitely the right decision right there because you got to get two now. Okay. Dante is very good at being evasive, though, so can kill a lot of time, but that is not the way you want to try and kill the time here. He's going to have to spend the X-Factor, and the level three is going to hit. No, it actually does not hit. Legion beats it. it was the X-Factor saved out right there. The one thing about the level three, it travels across the floor. KJ Master coming through. 23 months for the homie KJ. Good to see you, buddy. There goes Stocking Flare on deck. Going to keep Dante in some blocks. Stun. JC making the... Oh, Prop Shredder is going to get punished full screen. It's super negative, man. It's super negative. Still alive, though. Going to have to look for the checks here. Guaranteed Checkmate. chip situation. And absolutely, all you can do is match push block. What an OCD by JC right here. Literally, Dormammu <laughs> making it happen. Put you in checkmate situation again after again. And getting the job done. Take that first game. Hopefully, someone else we get to see do the job today is B-Man. Nemi only? I'd be excited. Good to see you, though, man. Hope you do well today. I like it when B-Man pulls up the Nemi. Okay. Ooh. No, the flame a little too active, but swings again. JC not afraid to go in. What's the cool part right here? Last time we did not get to see JC's cat play, and he's off the races here. No, but the drop. Okay. And I like that from MPH, just backs off, knowing that Cap's reversal game is so strong on the ground, and there's a potential punish coming. But instead, yeah, very, very good. Player, that's gonna be not in time. I like the Vodra call just in case to try and beat out the super. Ah, oh, didn't get close enough to actually get the combo though. We're gonna go into the supers now. That second grenade is gonna be headed upwards, but actually doesn't come out. On top of that, you saw the DT as well into the teleport. TK Vortex gets to the other side and able to get the job done here from MPH. Oh, but yeah, way too many hits there on the upward shots. Mixed to our prop treader, which already scales combos very heavily, is not going to work out. Absolutely. It's very, you don't want to use that move unless you know it's going to kill. Or early on yeah, in the combo, absolutely. yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, but a very nice cross up into a secondary hit, but again, NPH not quite there. Oh, chip range. Oh, going pro, and I love it. Pull out the strider. Oh, no, the chip's going to be a factor, and it wins out. Yeah, he lays down in the fire. I respect that. <laughs> Vodra does connect, X-Factor on deck, there we go, Dormammu. Strider can take care of two, we know this. About to build the third bar here as well. 
And then on top of that, when you hit stand H and teleport with Vajra, it's crane check. Or not into Vajra, but the other actual teleports. Oh, now he's going to go straight into the orbs here. JC locked down. Good push blocking so far, Ooh. though, but it doesn't matter. Once you get caught mid-screen, your life is forfeit. I love that. You had that sweet little Buddha palm. Go over, get the cross up on it. And I love Graham Super. Keep it, yep. keep it simple. Here we go again, one to one. And a lot of the times for MPH's team, like we said, we have Jam Session just to control space in front of him and Strider to be able to stop the aerial approaches here. This team is built to maximize Chris as much as humanly possible, at least in the neutral. This, for the assist-wise, this has to be one of Chris's better teams for the neutral game, at least. Agreed. Oh. 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 A bit of a delay, very nice, continues on with the chip. But one of the hard things about executing this game plan against a character like Cap as well is that it takes so much damage to actually get to him. He has so much life. Look at the damage. Iron Man is almost out of here. JC is about to lose both Avengers. MVC 4 trailer in Evo 2022. <laughs> it would be amazing to get a Marvel 4 trailer at any point. Give it to me in 2025, dude. Any time. Wong Chicken, thank you very much again. 18 months. The button right there. Oh, and the chip does win out. All up to Dormammu. We've seen it before in game one. JC can make this happen. Mm, baited it out with going prone there. Lays out the fire and is confident to get aggressive afterwards. Actually breaks up the combo too, Ooh. but MPH rolls forward and takes one on the chin for it. There we go. X Factor here. Take care of that big health bar of Chris. Guaranteed chip coming up. No, but Jam Session, genius level counterplay. It looked like they popped out. It was hits on scaling right there, and then you just mash an assist. It worked out. Gonna spend the super. DHC, very nice. He's gonna be able to block off of this one. Oh, no, in time. Oh, the TK Vortex Vodra call. Dude, I mean, that is like, when it, as far as Dante Strider goes, I know you know it as good as anybody. It's just so disgusting to get to see the combination work out. Uh, you know you get one sometimes, <laughs> you know. It's, hey, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Sure, you know, you get them. Oh, of course. It's definitely one of those things where it's like sometimes it's worth just throwing in the teleport Vajra just in case. Obviously, it's, it's punishable raw, but sometimes you can really catch people sleeping. It depends what characters you're yeah. doing it against as well and, you know, what assists are out there. If you see, like, a hacker on the screen, obviously you don't want to do that, but, you know. He's looking for the air to air. Couldn't quite get there. Light shield throw just to frame trap, and it works out beautifully. MPH caught mashing there. I think that was a push block. I love what JC did there. Walked up, delayed the button, just put enough frames in between. Good teleport right there, good blocks. Oh, you know the teleport <laughs> is not safe. Dante cannot get away with that, so you have to set out your assist at the right time to make it safe. Yeah, that or the punish is going to come through. Very good once again from JC. High damage DHC between these characters. And it's gonna get the stalking flare. And you get the setup afterwards. Strider, this is a hard ask right here. Yeah, especially with Cap being first because of that reversal potential. But Cap never has a chance to touch the ground. They're relentless from MPH. Yeah, but this is barely going to kill. If not, does not. That's the one thing about Strider. You can get Legion two. Sucks. It, it, Legion's pretty terrible, but it is what it is. Back into it, trying to pressure out with the orbs. Look for the launcher, That's and JC is just going to swing. Doesn't even X Factor cancel to go for the punish. Is just ready to go with the button. I like it. You know, it gets the job done. Keep it simple. Go to a game five. Look like JC hesitated just a little bit though. Like he wasn't sure. Yeah. If that's what he was gonna do. <laughs> well, X Factor Three Strider Launcher. I I'm like, maybe he's plus. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good use of the shield there to cancel out the flame grenade. Found the jab, but couldn't quite get a confirm off of it. Okay. Well, big shout out to the homie Korean guy coming through with the sub. Are we on a hype train? Let's go. OTG, the last hit of the Magnum coming through, and with that grenade, it's going to make the rest of the grenades combo from Chris. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> like in that combo off of the fleeing grenade on the ground. I love the launch spike. <laughs> okay, there's the snap. Gonna set himself up for something. Was looking for the throw there. Dormar was gonna escape, and JC, who's seen continually, has had a good situation when it comes to Dormammu versus Chris. Been able to get the job done. Showed why earlier. Look at that. Just a throw again. Super jump height. Level three. 
All right, but we already know this character is not dead yet. Not with all this health. What are they going to do with it? He did. Oh, able to get the launcher off of the beam? That was a lot of scaling. That was scary for sure. JC, good knowledge. Got to go for the meaty. Able to double jump out of it, though, with the Dante. Stinger into DT. Into the frame trap. And again, does not get the assist called with it. An unsafe teleport. And JC on top of it again. Oh, missed the pickup, but gets another hit there with a the low. Medium, you know Striders like to jump on incoming. Good block. It's continuing to get frame trapped, though, to steal these turns. Just killing X Factor is the most important thing here, or keeping your Dormammu alive. Oh, no, this is a heartbreaker here. JC is going to have to guess for his life on this one with Iron Man coming in. It's so frustrating when you get the incoming hit and you drop it just to lose to this. Level three on incoming. Look, he's looking for the bait there. Good teleport. One more chance. Go live. No X Factor for Strider here. Oh, my goodness. So oh. brave. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Vajra. The worst part was that during the Vajra animation, you see Iron Man did a little turnaround. It was so impossible to tell what Iron side Man. was going to land on. Iron Man said, nah, dude. <laughs> oh, that's so, so difficult, but it's not going to work out, man. So one thing, I don't know if we mentioned it already. Right now, Losers uh, Last Chance Qualifiers is all single elimination. <laughs> single elimination for the Last Chance Qualifier. <laughs> so basically, two people from the Last Chance Qualifier, one from each pool, will make it into the top 12 bracket for championships tonight. Mm -hmm. But it is, uh, yeah, it's best of one, baby. I mean, I'm sorry. It's it's just one loss. That's it. One <laughs> loss and you're out. Best of one would be. <laughs> best of one would be a little too much. But, yeah. Oh, I don't remember the last time I had to play a single elimination bracket for anything. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. High pressure. But there is going to be a 0 and one and a one and one bracket tonight. So if you go 0 and one or one and one, we will put you in another bracket if you want to play. And that will also be a single elimination Tampa bracket. PM, Tampa Bell. Yo, let's go. Did we, uh, oh. Yeah, ice and fire coming through 18 months. That's a really delay. Thank you so much. I, where's our <laughs> alerts? Is it not showing up? It popped up and the audio in -game, was way later. Oh. That was weird. That is kind of weird. It was popping little, up in game, but not on uh, this A little part. weird, bro. Two Back. qualify. Two qualify from last chance qualifiers. Yes. One from each pool. That's going to be dope. I can't wait. Especially getting to see all these guys pull out all the tricks, all the players like fighting it out in a situation where one set loss, you're out. Man, that's when people play their hardest. It's kind of nuts, <laughs> right? All right? You get to start back in winners, though, if you make it to the championship yes. bracket. So. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, he's got to win. He's got to go through the killers. It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. Korean guy, you need to get back, man. Bring that Nova back into shape, homie. <laughs> Yo, okay. Romantic Cream Pie has subscribed. Let's go. Five <laughs> only only I going. can say that out loud in this channel, by the way. <laughs> you guys will, for, for the future, <laughs> refer to them as RC. You can read? That's the homie Romance. <laughs> romance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, dude, but Ace is in B-Man, and B-Man was teasing Nova Nemesis? in the chat a little bit, and it looks like it is going to be the pick, so it will be no. Nova facing off against Aces here. Uh, I forgot, we do have all the extra skins here, so uh, yeah, big shout-outs to all the people that put in all the work for modding and adding the colors, but we do have extra colors here, and some alternate outfits, too. Let's make this quick. Got a universe to save. All purple. It's kind of clean, too. I like that. I got to save the universe looking good. Oh, man throw, doesn't matter. Dolphin Kick is going to get the open up here. I feel like a, a lot of characters have trouble comboing Nova, but I feel like most of the time uh, Nova doesn't have trouble with Nemesis. Uh, the, the combo structure and his hitboxes are so large that the weird hitbox of, uh, of Nemesis doesn't really affect you very much. Oh, absolutely. Right, got kill on Strider, though. Went up for the jab. It's a little too far away and punishes the Repulsor Blast, too. I like this from Aces so far. Oh, look at the Repulsor. Perfectly spaced, but can't get anything off of it. Connect, stocking player there for Aces. Getting started. It's a lot of damage on Iron Man, though. And the worst part is, yeah, Iron Man getting caught out of that. Stocking player still coming, but here we go, has a super. Did you see that? The pillar not actually do any yeah. sort of chip at the super jump. It was literally at the top of Catalog's Island. 
Oh, is able to get the deep cross up there. Tags into Magneto. Pull gets the pull down. Is able to get control of the situation now. Go X Factor there from B Man. Gotta make something happen now. Chasing Magneto is so difficult though as Nemesis, especially having such a large body to catch these mag blasts. Imagine, imagine chasing a mutant that can fly, and all you got is spaghetti. I don't know if that's all he's got. That's an eighth of your life every time you block a <laughs> rocket. Is able to get the hit with the noodle. Dash under level three. Oh, <laughs> B-Man, let's go. Oh, the rarest two we're to get to see in the game is able to put it down here. No, oh, no, the, the bag. Team bag. Let's go. Oh, he doesn't even care about playing. He was no. taunting, bro. Oh, man. He knew that was a losing situation there, but that's okay. He said, that's automatic uh, from your side. <laughs> <laughs> he said, go ahead and put him in the championship for that one. Oh, man. So there's game one. Very nice. <laughs> Luna said it best. Clout, clout grab back secured. Oh, my God, dude. I honestly can't even tell you that I've <laughs> seen. He went in the chat says, GG, shake my hand, and it switches. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't say I've ever seen that level three on TNS. It's had to happen once, maybe one other once time. Once from, from uh, the homie Jackal. Yeah. yeah, we've seen it three or four times now. I mean, it's been two years of streaming Marvel, bro. <laughs> we've seen it a handful of times. Y'all just have terrible memories. This is the first time I've ever seen it. That's the first time you've ever seen me. Hold up. With the Deadpool on point now. Kind of a weird situation for Nova. I guess a lot of characters he loves to set up the shield and kind of chill, but. Good blocks off the overhead, though. Deadpool's so good at preemptively stopping that from going through. Just to Ghost coming through. Ghost SFO. The raid. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Hope you had a good stream. Quick work to try and get across. Look in chip range here. Tet Boys with the sub as well. 12 months in a row. Thank you very, very much, man. You know, appreciate all the support, guys. Wow. Sometimes Reverb Shock will do that if the box is wonky and then above them. Okay, the little dash out of the situation there. Oh, oh Hellbreaker. He finds the S. He said, it's not just my brother. Alien Carrots, blocks done good. Push block there from Aces. Could have got trapped. Oh! My goodness, Killer B, man. Great adjustment. Yep, and able to execute off of that is going to just barely be able to get the kill there. I mean, right there, B-Man's put Dante in really good position to make this happen. He, you, he did put him in good position. Yeah, I mean, that is just honestly the perfect adjustment from Aces, knowing you have three spells stocked, is being able to rip that as a frame one reversal to guarantee the projectiles coming out. As soon as Dante teleported, you seen it come out, and you know, Aces knew what was happening there. Yeah. Quick work jam session, great. Confirm there, got the bolo going for the TAC reset though. I mean, B-Man has shown that he has those mid-screen ones, so it's, it's, it's a, a mix-up you have to respect. Oh, absolutely. Rocket Punch getting punished here. You know, Deadpool has one of the faster jabs. Got a bad damage down, but not quite enough to kill. But we're going to be able to get Volcano Beehive to finish it off. Absolutely. Only thing you, one thing you got to be careful for, you already DT'd with Dante here, so you're not going to have that to save Deadpool at any point. Ooh. Nice trade and dashes underneath again. Like you said, one of the faster jabs coming out from Deadpool. And the hitbox is just so good. Absolutely. Look for the resets. Jump H there. Quick work, but not going to matter. Good tech forwarder from Aces there. Oh. Is that Crouch M trying to dash That's forward underneath? Like. That's definitely like what that. it looks like. Ooh, very good block. Ace's defense on the money right now. And he gets the reverse hitbox of that Dormammu throw. You got to love that. The awareness on Ace's to know his character so well. Situationally, been playing him for a long time. Knows the deal here. Level three gets rewarded with the kill. Medium, good air throw here from Hawkeye. Has a chance, though. Hawkeye with a lot of meter and X-Factor can definitely take care of Magneto here. 
Okay. Always looking for that throw. Hawkeye stays keeping for the throw, but that's going to be Aces finding the touch. He's going to easily build up a level three in this situation, and the gravity squeeze. I love what Aces did right there. He's seen the jump with button, the jump H from uh, B-Man, X-Factored right away, and just threw it. I feel like there's no higher compliment than someone named Dual Kevin Simp comparing you to Dual Kevin. <laughs> that is an unbelievably top tier. <laughs> it was like that one situation where uh, B-Man was planking with Dante under that cross under, yep. put the jab light out there, and Aces was like, no, nah, we hold strong. Yeah, definitely a tough situation to deal with, but deal with does happen. So it's going to be moving on forward. Good stuff for the LCQ pools. Continue when we can. You know, Marvel 3, okay. late nights as always. Welcome back, sir. Hey, sorry about that, guys. Had to fix a little thing. So, actually, I don't think the stream is hearing those alerts. So, um, don't worry about the delays. Okay. I think only we hear them. So, we're um, okay. That makes sense. We're okay. So, appreciate all you guys being here. <laughs> Bro, less than 30 minutes, already over 300 viewers. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Everyone's here. Somebody clip B-Man stuff. Clip the whole match. Clip B-Man's <laughs> entire life. All right? Please. He said that's always three, too bro. godlike. That's always the questions you got to ask. He said, nobody, really, nobody clipped that? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are we going on to our next match here? What's going on? So looks like we are. Uh, oh, we're waiting on somebody. Okay, okay. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's single limb. It's going to go fast. <laughs> Just so you know, guys, there is a match arena for the Season 6 Championships. Obviously, you already know the winner is going to get a belt, but there's also going to be a match arena as well. It is live right now, exclamation match arena. Thank you so much, Hurricane Kitten, for handling that. Um, I think it's already got a few hundred dollars in it, but obviously we can raise it some more. And Astro is hooking it up. Show me the slide. Astro is hooking it up right now. You can definitely uh, contribute $5 or more to get a chance to win uh, an Astro A40 headset and it will come with custom TNS tags as well. So where it says a little A40 right there on the side of the headphones, it'll say TNS instead. So it's going to be pretty sick. Every $5 is an entry. Uh, I can't win, so don't worry about my donation. So uh, that donation came from us playing Marvel Strike Force. So uh, shout out to the whole community there. But yeah, definitely, definitely get that money in there. Let's give it out to the players. You already know 100% of the money goes to the players from the match arena. So... I mean, that is definitely one of my favorite things for sure when it comes to that is is personally myself, I got the Astros just because that the, the side plate is just too sick. My right? A40s, I'm so happy with them. Mine are pretty. Bowie, they do not fit on the A50s, unfortunately. Mm. They only fit on the A40s. Look, we can't all be rich like you, Bowie, getting A50s out here. I also I use say. the A50s at home personally. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Bowie said, I'll buy some 40s now. <laughs> oh, my God. I think as far as PC gaming headsets go, the Astro A50s are probably the best wireless ones I've ever used. I actually use it for all of my meetings, Discord calls, Slack, Google Meets, you know, whatever uh, you know us old people be using these days. Not 37 so. yet. <laughs> Enjoy it one more day. You're welcome, Duelist. Yeah, yeah B, you know, B-Man already knows. A40s are nice. What boxers are Tong wearing today? I don't know. Let's see. What am I wearing today? Just plain gray ones. Plain gray ones. Tough. That's it. Dark gray out here. You already know. We're going to have Zempool and Sandwich coming up. Okay. Bro, don't make me stand up and y'all not put the no pants emote in the chat, bro. <laughs> y'all better, better go ahead and put that emote in the chat right now. Let me know if you're not wearing pants. <laughs> Switch shoes? No way. Oh, I'm on a Zoom call. Of course I ain't got pants on. I got the tie. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah, right. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's what there I'm we go. About. Show me the love, guys. Show me the love. Look, a anybody that's been to my house, KJ Master knows, Jason Game Dev knows, you know, everybody that's been to my house knows I don't wear pants. But this ain't just a stream thing. This is a lifestyle. All right? Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> 10 years ago. Tom, why ain't you wearing pants? It's how it be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Proxy and Oswa are wearing pants. They haven't converted to this religion I got yet. shorts. I'm wearing the house slippers though today. Yeah. I you guys, you guys like this. the new hoodies, by the way? It's that's they, embroidery. They go that's, hard. These that's things embroidery. are that's so stitched. these things are so comfortable, dude. That's right, the most oh, comfortable yeah. hoodie I've ever worn. All right, let's take a look here at our boy Sandwich. TNS's very own sandwich here. Coming through, trying to get a spot. 
going up against one of my favorite players, Zen Pool. This is, this is a tough one to call for sure, just from uh, <laughs> two of my favorite people for sure. I oh, know, that's an easy one to call for me. Let's go, Zen Pool. Oh Forget my it. god, you powered him up. <laughs> Don't give up. F about no damn sandwich, all right? Hey, man, that's a top eight sandwich. He might bring it back next game. <laughs> Captain Joe coming through the 16 months. Captain Joe, appreciate you, man. Thank you very much, as always. Yo, shout outs to the EU Marvel scene, man. The UK homies out there. Appreciate y'all. We need to do something with y'all soon. Ooh. Ooh, cross underneath. Sandwich is going to need to do something with this hit, though, if he's going to get back into this game when he drops his combo. I know what it is. He needs new colors, man. That Ryu one looking kind of clean, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The hoodie is not yet available on the store. Right now, we have to make sure all the staff gets a hoodie first. <gasps> oh, my goodness. DP? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Zen will fight and sandwich for his hoodie right now. Oh, almost got there. Oh. Wakes up with a jab and looks for the DP afterwards. Two whiffs in a row. No punish there. Stand jab. <laughs> hey, you know, that's close enough. That's close <laughs> enough. Honestly, the, the tail of the table is just sandwich. Got to get more off of these hits. Had a couple hits in X-Factor that very easily could have snowballed this game back. Mm. Right. This gray outfit is leveling up. Zen it looks Pro. good, this doesn't is so it? so fire. It looks ridiculous. If I did martial arts, I'd wear this exact same outfit. Are you wearing it right now? Let's just show it off. Tong, where's your rash guard? Man, I got no pants on. That's all we do. <laughs> okay. So we'll block the grenade there. Takes the shot. Dashes up. Missed to confirm, though. Did he's you see the low profile on the H? <laughs> he's standing heavy and over the crouching heavy. Start up a launcher getting busted right there from Zimple. Oh, he's able to convert that without an assist? Yeah, doesn't need it. The fireball is just for show. <laughs> <laughs> Dash under S, nothing there. Okay. Leaning on this grapple up a little bit more often here. Ah, that slow fireball chasing behind. Oh, it's really tough to deal with here. A couple zips in a row. And Sandwich, again, having situations, but here we go, needs to cash out on this hit, but misses his quarter circle. It's unfortunate as soon as he said it, but not gonna matter. Had the low, and it happened to me, and we, there's no punish here. Oh, and the landing hit here. Who thought in 2022 that Ryu would be having a competitive match with Spencer? No, which one is more invincible? Oh my goodness. Cinematics, baby. Try to look for that heavy foot dive. He closed the scrap across the screen, but Deadpool versus Doom is such a nightmare of a matchup. I like what Sandwich is doing. Put a lot of damage on Ryu. Ryu has been a problem for Sandwich in the last two matches. You know Ryu is low tier because in the Deadpool Doom matchup, Ryu loses. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Had the hit. Another situation where couldn't quite get there. You've got to get Deadpool out of here. Stop super jumping. That's been getting you in trouble. Mm, and with this tag, it's going to be an easy X Factor. The losing out on Spencer, leaving it just to Doom into this bad matchup. A nightmare for Sandwich. I like what Zenful did there, man. Cash out. Take care of the one character that actually has a chance in this matchup right now. Okay. Ooh, not showing much movement there. Lazy Boy foot dives. Not getting anything done here. Because that's one of the actual hard things about this is if you take predict predictable flight paths, Ryu is actually very hard to approach like that. He will just DP repeatedly. There's just no reason for him yeah. not to. I think he's not believing in his movement right now. You don't see any tri dashes with Doom. It's just H foot dive, not getting across, and Temple's on top of it. The biggest thing that helps Ryu DP kind of just freely as he wants is the ability to super right after the DP. Oh, the low. <laughs> oh my god. Chase them down just to tickle his feet. I say playing footsies. Kill there. Two meters. Still for Sandwich, but having Wesker come in now, there's the throw. I wouldn't be upset to see an X Factor for momentum here. Instead, we're going to get that TAC. Show me an infinite. He might do one more. He better just S, baby. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, on Parsec? He said he got these. Look, I've seen this too many times. It goes all the way to the last rep, and then you drop it on Pixel Health. And he rolled Look at it. Look you. at it. There you go. Oh, almost. Almost. And he spent two. He could have just. Whatever. He, he can't dash, <laughs> but he can do these infinites, though. So. Look for the teleport. Try to go for the throw. That jump H almost got him in trouble there. Okay. 
Blinks backwards, maintaining space here. Once the grenade is out, being able to space yourself out too far away for the blow up on you usually can be good, and it opens up situations like that. Jump back S to get the whiff punish. Look good. It's going to be very close here, Phantom Dance, and that's enough. But Dark Anchor Akuma, five meters, can definitely take care of this. Can he stop bullets, though? Oh, he can stop Doom. Oh, that dive kick right after and was positive. Yeah, Sandwich, unfortunately, he had touched the ground before the move stopped being active. So, Man, that's three to zero. Zempool showing up for the reuse. How, how does he keep oh. doing it? It's one of those things. Uh, it's always like listening to K-Brad talk about it. How does it? <laughs> it's 2022. Ryu's still out here winning. Uh, Akuma won that, dude. How do they do it? I don't know. Is it Ryu winning or is it Sandwich losing? I don't know. Mm. That's, what, that's what I really want to figure um, out. Mm. Production, we will take Sandwich losing. <laughs> I can't believe Sandwich took a break from production. Oh have Fredo back here by himself just so he can go lose 3-0. He lost to a dive kick that hit below the waist. You know that's, that's plus that's frames, really bro. Tough, bro. You know that's plus frames. You played, it on, you played enough Street Fighter. <laughs> you know you can't do that out here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you said below the whip. Whoa! Yo. Welcome to the world. Chris! Call me Bowie! Oh my goodness, Anchor, whatever you want to go by, it don't matter no more. You going by Godlike now. 20 gifted subs? Jesus Let's Christ. go. Mr. Bowie, I really hope you're feeling Bowie's not he's feeling under the weather right now. I really hope you're feeling better, man. Thank you for that. That's ridiculous, dude. Oh, uh, Bowie's sick? Yeah, he's got, uh, uh, it's, it's not COVID, but he has flu-like symptoms. Not feeling too uh, well today. Uh, 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 he's, I thought you were like, he's sick of your shit. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, well, shout outs to an anonymous gifter as well. I love some anonymous around here. But yeah, yo, big <laughs> shout outs to the homie Bowie. Anonymous gifting five subs. <laughs> That's crazy. Bowie gifting 20 subs. <laughs> All we need is an anonymous Bowie now. He said, thank you, I'm dying. <laughs> Please don't die. Yeah, we yeah. need you around, dude. Bowie, I'm guessing you're not coming out for drinks tomorrow, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Love you, too, Jamal. Big shout out. Jamal, I'm bringing, your, I'm bringing your hoodie, by the way. Mm. Also, I am going to Evo with some of the hoodies, so if you do want a hoodie at Evo, please uh, DM me, and uh, I'll see if I can pack an extra one, and uh, you can buy one, whoever wants You can one. get off the plane. Tom, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> you got to DM me before I go. You guys know go. how it is. <laughs> you got to DM me before I go to Evo. Otherwise, I ain't going to be able to pack one. Okay. Well, we got our players getting ready to go here. B Blue and Sparty. Spartan Throne. The Duke. See how it works out for him, though. Sparty, round start, able to find the throw here. But doesn't get a confirm off it. Isn't able to get his dash forward. Talon, that hit right there, no conversion. Yeah, unfortunately, that super was a little too late to transform there. Oh, good slide out underneath the dive kick. So far, I really like the use of the wall jump from Spartan Throne. One of the most standout things for sure. Being able to evade a ton of this chip, but not able to avoid that falling normal from B-Blue and punishes the tag, but not hard enough. B-Blue is playing amazing right now in the neutral. Here we go. Air throw, super jump height. Bro, that dumb mom was getting kind of clean, dude. Well, he's about to get washed right now, so. It's all white, so you can use bleach. That's good. I mean, Strange got the cleaning gloves. Uh, enough gets the raw tag here. This matchup has got to be so hard for Spartan Throne because unless he gets a hit at 99, B Blue can do such a good job keeping away with jam session, bolts, Deadpool, obviously. Uh, Spartan Throne try to go for a hard read there. Luckily, B Blue not able to go for too much. Already popped the X Factor. Oh. There it is. The Wolverine assist to help out. He's able to get the crumple and tags in, but the combo actually doesn't work on Strange. I, I just want to know who's using Berserker Barrage Assist intentionally in 2022. Only Sparty, bro. Is he dashing? No, he is safe. Partag gets away with it. No punish from B-Blue on that. Had the right idea with the Mystic Sword. The eye putting in so much work, but Crouching Medium puts in even more to get underneath everything. Yeah, Spartan Throne doing a great job finding the hole there in B-Blue's offense. 
<laughs> was able to teleport. Kill Wolverine, dude. Dormammu, next one in. Four and a half meters. I mean, like, that's the one thing Sparty has going. You have X Factor still, and you had Dormammu. Now it's going to be up to this Iron Fist. Yeah, losing Dormammu is tough here. Iron Fist has a very difficult matchup in this situation. You definitely get one super look here. Overhead connects, and Spartan thrown on top of it, but the drop. Oh, Bibu didn't think that Spartan Throne was going to be able to get that, I guess. He's got to be careful calling this Dante assist as well. Spartan Throne may pop the X-Factor and blow him up. He'll use the two-button tech. He'll catch it. Oh, my goodness. Caught him mid-air with that. Oh, look at that stand medium conversion into the super. Right. Even though he has no meter, he does have X-Factor. Got plenty of opportunities here. Closing the gap on Crystal, though, is going to be the difficult thing. Crystal plus Jam Session is so much space covered. Oh, and now going into DT here in the million dollars. Very good conversion. That there. reverb shock pixel barely it's, connects. It's a, you can definitely do it off a stinger into it when they're in the air, but it's very it's very wonky conversion. No, big shots to the homie Diz coming through 13th month now. Thanks to the entire family for being out here, man. We appreciate y'all. Already over 400 viewers, only 40 minutes into the stream. I know. I, I... Okay. Ooh. Sparty got to find a way to keep Wolverine alive. That was literally the reason he was got back in the game last time. Anti-air crouching heavy as well. There goes Super right there. We're going to DHC out. Pull Dorm. That's a punish. No, it's too active. Yeah, I was going to say, but for who? Yeah, right? You figure Chaotic Flame will go through it, but the, you know, the gun's out. They were so active when he came out. It's a TAC break. Wakes up with the Super. Forces the X Factor from Sparty. He's going to lose most of the life here on Iron Fist. That's a lot of damage. Going for the Iron Fist. Not enough there. Teleport on top of that. Gets the throw on Dorm. No punish from there, though. Oh, is able to get the cross up, but uh, a little too delayed on the actual punish. And now the super gonna hit Doctor Strange, but still not enough to kill. TAC possibly a reset. There it is. Get side. No way. This Sparty, bro. Okay. I just I didn't think he was gonna go for the infinite. Ooh. Nice extension. I love it. On top of that, you get the stalking flare set up. You get your next mix up ready. Tried to set up the grenade, recognizing he wasn't going to be able to close the distance and actually get enough of a threat to warrant the mix up there. I love that B Blue is literally looking for the assist call. They're going neutral jump guns and getting the job done here with the Bolo. Marine tries to go off the wall. Like Tom said, closing the distance in this match, especially versus Jam Session, just feels impossible sometimes. It's hard, but all it takes is one read here from Wolverine. It can definitely make it happen. Like that, knows there's a gap in between there and mashes the jab. There didn't have to be a gap, though. Spartan throwing wrist at all there, mashing those crouch lights. Genius level stuff here. Hey, look at all the red health. Cat yeah, tags back out. And this is, a, as you know, as a Dante player, this is a nightmare matchup for him. Crystals helps. It, it went to match up good, but you definitely got to watch out for the jam session and crystals from long range. Ask Raiden get the job done there, DT. That could have been bad considering that assist hit. Derek's coming out. And it's still the same thing. Look at that. Just you use the big buttons there. Iron Fist can't do too much. Yeah, jam session, iron rain, uh, acid rain. There's a lot of different ways to be able to represent hitboxes around yourself to make it feel impossible to even get close enough without getting chipped. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like you were saying earlier, I love Crystal against Iron Fist. Not much you can do there. But look, like this, Sparty gets to hit early on on Deadpool. This is good momentum for him right here. JD, the protector, seven months. JD, thank you, man. Going to go into the super. It does get the kill on Deadpool. Sparty, see what he can do with the lead this time. Called out the assist there. X Factor, nothing home. Mash in and gets punished for it. Swiss cheese, a tough situation. Not what you wanted to see. Go, send it up, teleport, same side, lands right on the eye. Great conversion here from B Blue. And he keeps it very simple on the combo. I love that. Oh, at this moment, you have to. You're up two games. Keep it simple. Get the job done. 
A reversal almost breaks out of the situation here. Sparty all up to the Iron Fist. It's gonna go for the air throw. Oh, but that was so risky. And just like that, Stan M gets the job done. Gonna get the kill here up to Dante again. Oh, so fast with the air throw here. Has the level three. What Whoa. just happened? Whoa! Wait! <laughs> you press, he press. Somehow Sparty! He had How does that happen? He either had the mash grab or light, because just you didn't even see startup, or he just wasn't blocking the right way. That I think was that crazy. was mixed. I think that was yeah, mixed. mixed. Yeah, mixed. Oh, we're gonna call him. <laughs> I mean, you saw how fast the tech chase was. Oh I didn't even know what God. side he was on. That man Marv coming through with the prime. Thank you very much. It was a mash catch setup. Sparty is a liar. Absolutely, that was a liar. <laughs> e back coming through as well. 14 months. Again, everybody, thank you so, so much for all the support tonight. It's been ridiculous. Got the OTG. Sparty trying to fight his way back into this one. Okay, I was going to say, you know, 2L, 8 frames. Yeah, you got punished on that. There you go, Chaotic Flame. Good blocks here from B Blue. Like that flight. Oh, tried to threaten again. Couldn't quite get there. <gasps> Almost had the throw there. I don't think meant, meant to go for the charge, but that's okay. Still a decent situation here. And Sparty with the tag into Iron Fist. Gonna try and use him as a battery, it looks like. I mean, if he can get a chance to teleport there, Stan Jab from B Blue gets to confirm. Caterbot with the gifted tier one. 30 in the channel. Caterbot, man, thank you. Oh, just like that, on hit, X-Factor, be blue killer instinct to get the job done here. Good amount of damage, take the kill. All down to the anchor once again, this time it's Dormammu. I love the idea from Sparty there to go after Deadpool. It's just a few hits to get the kill. Jump it up, I'm looking for the flight. Stalking player, looking for ninja tools, and blows himself right up into it. Actually barely confirms there, but couldn't bring it so fully set up. Oh! Did he get them both? No, oh. only gets one. Here comes the super for a little bit extra damage, though. Put the one with a bad situation. Right there. Goes straight back to the ground and looks for the super, but that's an easy counter from Doctor Strange. Wow, man, what decision making here from B Blue is strange. He's doing so much work. Look for the chip here. This is anyone's game. Gotta watch out for the air plays here. Teleport on top of that. <gasps> is that enough? It's not enough. Did you tech forward? And you did! You low profile the chaotic flame and hit the crouching light for the win. Yeah, teching forward there is so, so strong to put yourself in the situation to where you know you can be in that little tiny dead zone in the front. And uh, chaotic flame's hitbox is not out for nearly as long as the actual animation is. It oh. ends way earlier. He knew he had it right away because yeah. the one thing at least Dante does have is you can chain your crouching lights and it's like low profile. You don't have to deal with it. Of course. Smart thinking, man. Of course, of course. So very nice stuff there to move on. Sparty, we appreciate you as always. Love to get to see you play. We're going to have our next match already queued up. It looks like your senpai versus Ace's return. Ace is put on earlier today, man. Ace is looking good look for good. sure. Look, and yeah, all purple. He said, look good, play good, the feel good. The purple Nova is <laughs> kind of fire, Nova bro. The goes crazy. Like, <laughs> oh. that's kind of fire. Yeah, I'm very excited to get to see more of those. Those costumes are, are ridiculously good. Always exciting to get to see all of that stuff come out. Absolutely. I, I, like, the, I like all the little mod of things. That like Dormammu, the, uh, the all gray and white Dormammu is fire too, man. No puns intended. You know what's also fire? These jackets. Yeah. Also, everyone that's contributed to the match of Reno, thank you guys so much. I think we're already over $450 in the prize God. pool. $449.45. My apologies. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> like I said, it's my tablet. birthday tomorrow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm turning 37. Been playing Marvel for a long time now. A long time. You know? I'm old now. 37. And you may be tempted to do something nice 
for my birthday. If you want to do something, contribute to the match arena. I don't want the money. I want the players to get the money. You know what I mean? Contribute to the match arena and earn the chance to win yourself an Astro headset instead of giving me some. You know what I mean? That's more important. That's more important. Five codes left, too. That's fire. You got, yeah. I, that's the, the fastest I think I've ever had. That's crazy. <laughs> TNS codes get claimed up. That's awesome, guys. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I appreciate you guys doing the codes, but do the sponsor quests. Throw $5 in there. You know what I mean? Get this money up for the players. That's what's most important. Right? It's all about the players at the end of the day. A scene is not alive without players. That's the most important every time. Y'all have heard me say it for two plus years now. So, love you guys. All right, so your senpai is going to be playing that Virgil Dante Strider. Okay, the brother. Strider may cry, man. So who is your senpai? I think his name answers the question. Okay. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> your senpai actually had some really good results last week, mm. so I need to know who this player is because they've been kind of crushing it, and they're already starting off pretty strong here. It's Jose V. You can check that. From Seattle. Oh, I was going to say, say, check that. No, no way you're playing this from Seattle. You're ridiculous. That's the homie Charles, by the way. 22 months. Good to see you, boss. Yeah, thank you so much, Charles. You've been with us for a long time, homie. We appreciate you. That's a real homie right there. So with a million dollars rolling, you can be able to get the DHC into swords. How much weeder can you build? With half a bar left over, should be able to build up enough swords to actually get the kill here. I like it. Kept it simple. Do even go for the crouch H right there? Don't want to drop this kill. Lunar phase, then that's enough. Ooh, a mistime to meaty, but turns into an empty low. Did he mistime it? That was intentional, it looked was like. Was it all bro. part of the plan? No, he definitely mistimed it. I was it. like, <laughs> on, come I was on, like, I'm trying to bet, give him the credit. You bet on him not to swing? Come on. Marvel players, you know, that, that meant to happen. Dark Dimension does connect here, catches Virgil. Gonna use it to kill him. X Factor on top of that, there it is. Hey, a lot of damage down on Virgil. Dante gets meaty by the Dark Hole, but couldn't actually get a mix-up off it. He took the hit, he said. Oh, look at V-Cancel on top of that. I love it when they do that off the reverb, but not going to matter here. Great air throw from the Aces. Damn, Punk wanted to get in. That would have been nice. Punk still plays Marvel in every tournament, too. Big shout out to the homie Punk. Volcano Beehive. Extend that a little further into the Super. Gonna take a kill on the Dormammu, all down to the anchor here, and the anchor's Nova in this situation. Roka blocks here. Oh man, almost had it there. Vajra did connect, but there was no whiff after that. <gasps> Great adjustment. I, I think if your senpai would have went to crouch M into Stinger, you could have made that work because the Stinger would have went through the uh, the pulse. It worked anyway, though. He was able to get the kill one to zero. Didn't even have to pop the X Factor. Look, That's I, always nice. I know I was saying this isn't my senpai, but he playing like he could be my senpai. You know <laughs> <what> I mean? <laughs> Going for the OTG. He wasn't able to get the confirm with the jam session. And Aces returns. He does what he does best, what we all do best as a Nova player. Dash up jab. Are you jumping? Okay. I was going to say Dolphin kick, but stand jab could be second best. There goes Spike. Oh, a little too early on the S. Ah, uh, but it doesn't matter. Teleport with the EM Disruptor. Looking for the throw. Nothing there. Good buttons here from Aces, though. Yeah, two great situations in a row. Is able to convert off the throw and goes for the snap here. It blocks on that, but gets clung to the wall. That one seemed like a mistake. It's kind of awkward when you see him go to the wall and you press LMH and you see the slide and you don't even get the dive kick out. Ace is just on top of it. It's too much frames. This time to punish there. It's going to go into a million dollars. Just kill the rest of the X Factor. Good call. Teleport right there. It doesn't confirm. It's too fast, though. Matter is able to get it answered away. Ace is one to one, doing a very good job to be able to answer back on that one. And just off the back of one anti air from Nova, and Dormammu just snowballs it away. He can, he does so well with this team for Aces, man. You can definitely tell he's super comfortable with this character. Looks like I'm gonna take a little bit of time there. There we go. 
Good okay. blocks. Hey, found it with heavies only. The scaling man <laughs> oh wants to take God. care of Virgil. I respect that. Hit H, H. Yeah, we got the kill here. And that's the one thing Nova does struggle with is the damage output. Yeah, it can be difficult when you don't have Spencer or Doom Infinite yeah. behind you. Like Killer B gets punished there from EM Disruptor Dolphin Kick. Aces on the snowball effect here, man. Nova getting the work done. Yeah, we saw the snap last time. We're going to see it again here. Try to look for the guard break. There we go. Is able to secure it. Very nice stuff. Easy X Factor. That's the way to dismantle this team. Take care of Virgil. Go for Strider, but unfortunate drop there. Mm, the Interrupter actually beats out the attempt at summoning the orb. Million dollars looking for assist punish, possibly. Nothing there. Good flight. He, no, he I was like, no way, okay. I mean, right now, you just find a way to set up shop, but the teleport's gonna work out there. Optimal, keep it fast. Yeah, zoning against Dante feels impossible as Nova. Shield is an ineffective tool, and he can teleport on the javelins quite often. Oh. And there's another box jump, another respect mix up. Kind of assuming he wasn't gonna swing. Oh, good blocks, teleport H on top of that. Your senpai Dante is looking good three? here. No, okay, DT, very nice. Gonna Maybe DT. still works. No, Devil Must Die goes yep. all the way through. Two bars on deck. It's going to be very close. Is there a world where you build up a second level three here? I don't think you can. He's just going to look to get as much damage as possible in this situation. Going to go million dollars. MPH says you can. I'm a believer. Just with Dante solo like that? Ooh, that light was so smart to be able to break out of the, the attempt at the mix up Ooh. there, but it doesn't matter. The hit spheres. Stan M, one of Dante's best moves. Oh my goodness, the dash under, box dash H, the mix, man. That's disgusting. Your senpai has had the. Oh, but you want gun loops on uh, Parsec? Bro. Oh, yeah, it's true. Three shot gun loops, that's yeah. fair. You wouldn't think it would feel sneaky because it's Dante and it's a lot of the times all he has. But your senpai is so sneaky with these box jumps. <laughs> yeah, the dash under and then back the other way, man. That's mixed up. There we go. Teleport almost got it done with Virgil. Lunar phase into swords here. And I respect that from Aces. I actually do think that's a good point to mash at. But unfortunately, the swords were already buffered there. Great coverage from your senpai. You gotta love that. You know the timing there, yep. the high time, call the Strider, get a full conversion off of it. There we go. Okay, so it's looking like that was an intentional situation there, but after the Rising Sun is gonna take a grip of damage for it with the level three coming through. That was a good punish. Aces didn't let him get away with that. There you go, level three. That's enough to take care of Virgil. Get some momentum on your side here. Ooh, okay, like cancel. Yeah, I heard drive come out. Aerithor, you can confirm this with Strider. It's very tight time. Yeah, it, yeah. it might have been super jump. That's why I wasn't able to do it. Oh, oh, oh the neutral tech, you had it right there. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like EM Disruptor just put him a little too off his game. Came out, EM Disruptor continuing to be just kind of a nuisance in neutral, but clipped with the medium. You know what's better about that is that Dormammu was crouching right there, and he went with the medium. Yep. Medium hits crouching opponents better. Right, so Magneto coming back into it, gets the X Factor, and now with this punish, Strider's going to go down, and Dante has to block. Well, I'm not used to seeing Magneto without his cape, man. It looks kind of weird, right? Oh! And a squeeze. There we go. Evening the set of taking to the final game. You're right. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, man, where is it? Bring yeah. it back. That mag blast looked <laughs> hella weird without the cape. <laughs> oh my god. The two, the game five here. Decisive situation. First hit coming out. Your senpai not able to confirm off either of those two assists. A little bit of hesitation on that one. Good blocks again from Aces, but the swords are confirmed. He's going to go for the super, actually, to try and time them out. 
It doesn't quite block for long enough. And the snap for the Magneto, same side. <laughs> oh my god. It's so delayed. He goes the X Factor, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, this could cost him the entire match, or not. Or not. You know, Rapid Slash is fun. Very nice, goes for the teleport, good blocks again from Aces. Oh. No punish. Doesn't Body want to time. spend his X Factor. Nice confirm off the flame carpet here. Three bars on deck, has enough to kill Virgil right off of that. And you keep your X Factor in tech. Yeah, and that's one of the nice things about this DHC is how late you can go into that beam and still make it work. Well, I mean, you don't have to deal with X Factor level three Strider now. X Factor's gone. So you have the bar, you kill with this, you X Factor, you do what you got to do here, and you take care of Strider. Oh, good adjustment. Yeah, using that dash to great effect to slow it down and now has an X Factor just to cancel and make Ooh. sure that Strider can takes the hit. Oh, so unfortunate there. Keeping the X Factor in the back and Aces return. Take it 3 2. Very smart stuff from Aces. Like you said, as soon as you have three charges of any kind locked in and X Factor with no X Factor Strider across from you, I feel like that's just a wrap. My heart stops every time I see this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, got me. Oh, my God. We're going to see Zempool back up to it, facing off against KJ coming up here soon. That's going to be very fun to see. Aeonian, very excited for the Aces win. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, huge showing by Senpai, by the way, who, like we said, yes. is a hitbox play who playing on hitbox on that much MS from Seattle. That Dante that's, that's doing fire. work. Bro. That's fire. Dante's looking good. That also explains why their movement was, like, like, like too crispy, you know what I mean? Like you can just tell when it's like almost robotic. It's ridiculous. I don't good. even have good movement on land. Yeah, I'm right? doing yeah. that 100 ms looking good. <laughs> I'm like, show me up, Cabby. You my simple. Yo, I see the aliens in the chat. I want to give a big shout out to Ray Ray, who's also streaming tonight. Will be in the championship bracket, and he's wearing the TNS shirt on stream. You already know what it is, bro. Ray Ray <laughs> always putting on. Oh man. He said me too, Ray. Yeah. Only one hour in. Already over 500 viewers. Bro, if you had told me two years ago so many people would be interested in watching Marvel, I wouldn't have believed you. Wouldn't have believed you. You ever tell me that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah, believe yeah. you either. And commentating yeah, it? Yeah. Oh, floor spread. What you mean? Kind of. Ki looking kind of big. What you mean? I'm definitely <laughs> big, bro. What you? Don't let Ospo fool you. Let me get up here, too. Let me, he got know, the sleeves these guys on. trying to cheat me, you know? He's nerfed. nerfed. It's over for you today. You know? He got the sleeves on. Someone cut Bruh, my sleeves you know, right I just, now. I, I think my head itches a little bit. Oh, you know. Oh hey, man, you got big head. I got big arms. We can't, you know, you can't have both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, it's his dude. birthday coming up. We got to we gotta throw him a little bit of birthday oh shade. You know God. what to do. Hey, listen, that's big head gang. <laughs> this has squeezing the hell out of my head. Because I can't think. I'm screaming for help, bro. It's on the last peg. Like, please get me out of here. This got to be an I-9 <laughs> Intel hat. You over here like Dark Fanny. It's like, Scott, I can't take oh, you. Oh, my God. Here we go. Let's get into the match here. KJ versus Zempool. Dude, Zempool we already saw once. Rocking the gray reuse, but looking really good. That's the Brooklyn Nets reuse. Pull up. It looked good. Let me find out. <laughs> Aye, nice air throw. Is able to get the confirm there with that OTG assist. Tom, what you know about that? You know, I might know a thing or two about some <laughs> OTG stuff. There's a block out the TAC, and that's one of the craziest things about Morgan is being able to use that TAC break to get a free activation. <laughs> the it's, added risk. <laughs> it's knowing your situations very well, and you know KJ Master knows this character. Okay, setting up the Soul Fist. Continuing to rain down hell. I mean, that's the one thing Deadpool does got going for him is you get the Pineapple Surprise, Ninja Tools, Happy Happy Trigger, kind of slow it down here. Yeah, that's one thing you watch Duel Kevin do a lot against Morgans is he never super jumps, he just double jumps and uses Ninja Tools to stall in the air so he always has access to assist. It works out so well for him. It almost hits him with the spotlight. It was so close, was in chip range. All I had to do was just a little bit, it would have got rid of Morgan. But I like what KJ Master's doing, not changing out unsafely. Right now, Ryu has no meter, so, I mean, what, are you going to hit one Hadouken with a uh, bullet hell going on? No, it's never going to happen. 
He said Ryu will never be bald. <laughs> Why you gotta say that? Now it's gonna happen. Bro, it happens. It, it, it just be like that. Still holding on to it here. Jumps up, oh. goes for the super, forces the X-Factor. I like what KJ Master did there. Whatever it takes, got to keep Morgan alive. X-Factor. Okay. Oh, oh my stage. god. It's so unexpected to go in for the dash there. Able to get the standing heavy. Dude, the delay bolo there? Oh my goodness, disgusting. DPs into the quick work loops just barely. That's almost an OTG he, super. He had to cash out right there. Look for the media. Oh, and that's not enough. Counter hit M. KJ Master getting in there, taking care of Deadpool here. IE in the super to take the kill. So Deadpool's ace in the hole in this matchup, to be honest, is out of the way. Ooh. Oh, and his uh, his three <laughs> his three in the hole. <laughs> we're, we're talking cards here. Are you gonna be the next one to go down? But no, He's still in there. I was gonna say he never landed a single Hadouken. <laughs> Thirteen seconds in. There it is. No punish there. Ten seconds. Time is a factor here. And Zempo's got a little bit of a lead here. But these missiles may play spoiler. That actually saved out. Oh. 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 Oh my god! What is going on? Oh, Trade on DP? Not enough time here. It's Marvel time and it's not enough. Wow. Could there have been a possibly better situation than Ryu hitting, trading, and then dying and killing two seconds? That was just perfect. <laughs> Bro, that, those last three seconds, more happened in, in those three seconds than in my entire life of playing Marvel. <laughs> Called the rapid slash, able to get the activation. Now here we are, back into fireball hell. Just trying to stall himself up there, you know, kind of waste over Astral Vision, let that bar waste out. Okay, in with the fireballs, gets the raw tag in. Great timing on the tag. I like what KJ Master's doing, kind of like pressing uh, offense there, going after Deadpool a lot with shell kicks. Oh, that did connect, and it's not going to fully combo, though. A lot of chip, though. Oh, quick work does connect. They called the Ryu's just actually blocked the fireball behind themselves, so had the potential for a combo there. That was a tough one. Hard one to give away, for sure, at least. There we go, Astral Vision started for KJ. Simple has one bar, expect maybe a happy happy, happy trigger from the top. Yeah, that or just save it up for two to try and go for the DHC snipe to see how much you can do to Morgan in a, like a quick burst. Well, I mean, you've weathered the storm at this point. I mean, there's no meter for Astral Vision. Zenpo can kind of do more of what he wants to do now. with these diagonal shots, dashed up, looking for the quick work here. KJ has continued to be so damn evasive. Just feels impossible oh, to catch and he punishes the raw tag. Wow, so fast. Raw tag, we barely got out. And KJ Master was on top of that with the dash down H. Oh, we styling, okay. There we go, Ryu gone. Deadpool coming in with not a lot of health, but great air throw from Zen. Yeah, it looked like KJ forgot that Deadpool could second jump there. That's kind of a weird situation that ended up going really in his favor. It's one of those things. If you're rough, on, if you're late on incoming and your character has a double jump, you pretty much are almost out for free. Taking, taking some meter, and Deadpool's out of here. Up to Akuma. X Factor can make it happen. Yeah, I love that. Tatsu is the way to move forward the fastest to get away from the combo. There's H Tatsu. Oh my good, the Demon Palm connects. Dr. Doom gone, Morgan coming in. Just on same side too. Looking for it again, but there is the level three coming out. Yo. I don't know what she get. Does she doesn't get anything off of this though, she right? Gets she gets a DP gets super if she had it. Darkness Illusion level three, I love it, man. But yeah, if she had the meter, you could've. Of course, the X-Factor with the super. KJ has got to be careful in these scenarios here. K 
can't take no, more chip. With the X Factor gone, I think that's it, actually. Yeah, the time runs out. Who won that? No, oh my goodness. Morgan won, wow. of course. It was all up to that one fireball yep. that hit him on the way down at the bottom of the screen. Just the one block. Can you imagine that? You know what I can't imagine? I can't imagine playing Ryu and trying to beat more dude. But Zenful is somehow making it happen. He is hanging in there tough. With <laughs> Zenful, got yeah. But two Street Fighter characters. Oh, and finally gets the 99 second hit, but drops the combo. That's one of the unfortunate things right there. You catch Morgan at the beginning of the match is literally a present. It's a happy birthday in a sense. Jump light too active. Able to get out of the corner though. It's subtle things like that for Zempool that are making a big difference here, but KJ still managing to maintain control for the most part. Oh, there's a lot of chips starting to add up there. Oh, the cross up H does connect, but KJ Master was not ready for it. Bro, off the anti air Tatsu. Zempool in business here. Got the combo again, though. It's able to get the throw. Yeah, and the OTG, very nice. Morgan dying very early on this one. That's all he had to do was bring in Ryu, bruh. Ryu better than Deadpool against Morgan? Say it ain't so. Hadouken's so strong for being able to cover that grounded space with the fireballs, but yeah, Plasma Beam is going to be the answer a lot of the time. Ryu has a hard time attacking those angles that Dr. Doom does so well at throwing uh, Plasma. Oh, you remember that whole month Zenful went without playing Ryu to try to be a Dante player? I'm so glad that phase is over. It feels, yeah, like it's a, hard. It feels like a really <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> okay, he's able to get the crouching light as the anti-air. I love it, the delay. <laughs> he's, he's saving that meter, bro. He's saying he don't want to spend it yet. Oh, cross up, H foot dive, nothing there. Great and throw. There might not be a Ryu on the planet that has better Doom experience than Zenful. So this is actually uh, kind of a tough one for sure. He's got he's got the answers dialed up. No, big shout to the homie. That hazy coming through with the sub. Appreciate you. Oh, look at Zen answering strong right there. Dominant game here right after the first few seconds. I was going to say, not to point out the obvious, I, Morgan went down. When Morgan goes yeah. down, such a huge advantage goes to Zenpool. I mean, it was one of those things you've seen that Zenpool was able to get the first hit and could not actually catch Morgan the first time. There we go. Astral Vision started up here. Zen's going to opt to the skies there, and I think that's the way to go, obviously, as we know. Just trying to waste the Astral Vision down as much as you can. Checking them ninja tools, able to jump out of the trouble for the most part. Yeah, and that grounded fireball pattern. Morgans love to act like they're doing something. They're going oh, you can't fireball saw S. S. Fireball S. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's like it's like, hey man, let me show you some new flair, man. I got this. <laughs> I could change my patterns up. And it helps because you don't have to do one less motion, you know. Yeah, it's like more or less like Save I'm gonna hands. take a break. Real <laughs> Save your quick hands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> against some characters, it is better, though, because it is better to throw more fireballs on the ground. Like, I see against Virgil, they always lean in. Yeah, because you can't get away with teleports like that. It basically, like, is like a long-distance frame trap. Yeah. There we go. Happy, happy trigger. Nothing there. Hits the assist. Doom's going to take a little bit of damage there. Hard tag out for Ryu. Deadpool allowing to get some health back. I think that's the right call. But this is the menace. Yeah, you're right. Ryu is the menace, that's bro. That's we got to be the most afraid of here in this match for Zempool. It's been the person with consistently doing the heaviest lifting. And I mean, if you look at this guy's chest, of course, I know. Uh, man. who else is going to be doing this kind of heavy lifting? Ryu need a max deal, bro. Send him for seven years, 200 mil. <laughs> he carrying the team. John see anybody. <laughs> yeah, he I'll carrying the team, man. He need max deal. Oh, Tatsu almost worked out. A little too far. That's okay, though. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Is that going to connect? He's Nothing gonna hit Deadpool there. for sure. All right, you get Ryu out. I mean, I like the idea when Deadpool's in, he can do better with no meter. Ryu is a little harder without meter to use. Not gonna matter. Yeah, able to trip him out there. Very nice stuff. 
But again, Zempool and uh, Zempool. <laughs> Deadpool has been the character that has been expected to do the most, but really, again, it's been the ordinary guys. Look at the damage on Dr. Doom here. Too high. Oh my goodness. TP Super is fully invincible. There's not much you can do there. It's generally going to beat out everything. <laughs> he tried to TP the Virgil. Crouch H getting the job done there. No Shadow Blade's not enough. Here we go. Hadouken from the top. Looking for the chip, though. And now we got to think ahead here. 15 seconds left on the clock. Can use the cheater fireball to stay in the air a little uh, bit longer. Uh, there's not much you can do here, man. You have no meter. Getting Akuma faster is probably the way to go here. I definitely agree. Yeah, dude, this is pretty much done here, man. There's not much Zempel can do. Yeah. I appreciate that Zempel, when he did take his shot, went for Tatsu because it does have the potential, if it hits at the right angle, to can, break one fireball. Yeah, and her fireballs are three points of durability, so yeah. the Tatsu can beat it out of the right time. Taking that down to game five, though. Taking it to throw. Gonna confer off it? Yes, you do. No. Tail end drop. Okay, though, the missiles weren't out there. Zempul bets it all to try and get both of them, and it does not work out here. KJ with the clean hit and the easy activation. Oh my goodness, the hard tag right into the fireball. Hell. Oh, disgusting, man. Ryu's taking a lot of damage there. On top of that, Deadpool doesn't have a lot of health here. Zen has to make something happen. Looks like it might just come down to the Akuma once again. I w yeah, I was going to say, definitely don't spend the meter here. So now let's see what you got. You're able to get feet on the ground and avoid most of the missiles here. So not a terrible situation. KJ only has one Astral after this one. Oh, absolutely, man. Is Zenpo going to be Zen about anything? Right now is the time to do it and make the right decisions. Had the hit, but it wasn't a hit that he was able to really do anything off of. Even with X Factor, that would have been a tough one. Well, you can kill Morgan here without without oh, using your X Factor. You can kill you. That Tatsu absolutely could have confirmed off of that Tatsu. Looking yep. for the snipe there. I think you X Factor. That's the right call. Keep it up above, so it's very hard to actually hit. And Virgil's gone. A great decision making from Zenful here. X coming out from KJ though. Just gonna speed up the tempo of the fireballs here. Missed one, but Zenful wasn't ready to DP. I like that he's still blocking, even though he has X Factor 3 and is waiting for good spots. It's very hard to do against a Morgan of this caliber. They use that beam to kill the rest of the X Factor coming out from Morgan. Oh no, not much you can do here. Yeah, as soon as as soon as those two fireballs connect after the X Factor passes from Zempool, he's kind of out of it. So KJ gonna cut another opponent down, walk his way forward just a little bit. Zempool. Fun to watch you play as always. The, the great homie, Ryu man. suits you. The homie. You know, whenever I stop into the office streams, which I love everyone from the office, by the way. Shouts to DXP, everybody involved in that. Zempool's always, uh, he's never playing. He's always on commentary, and he's always just so, hey, Proxy, what's up, man? What's up, guys? He's, just so, he's too nice. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. What are you talking about being too nice? He's we too need more nice. people like him. No, what are you he's, talking he's, about? Is a, there's a difference. This, this man just want to watch the world burn. Okay, like I, I say we need more people like Zen. You're over here like, no, he's too nice. Oh, Bro, we live God. in Florida. Only mean people live here. Yeah, everyone here is uh, See what Florida did to you? Man, you're right. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Chat my bad. <laughs> Frankie G, though, who apparently is playing from SoCal. Word. Oh, yeah, he did see catch his fly. I've seen him on social media today. Wow, Frankie G can barely play from Illinois. How are you going to do it from SoCal? <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm excited to see my boy Frankie, though, you can play at Reeves. Evo. <laughs> Pit bot. Thanks, man. Also, I know I gave a shout out to Ray Ray earlier, but I also want to give a big shout out to the homie Team Spooky. Mm. You know, we uh, a lot of what we do here, we learn from watching Spooky over the years, and also, you know, we you know we replicated a lot of you know what he did during Parsec as I mean uh, during COVID as well. You know, so uh, big shout out to Spooky for all he's done for the community. You know, what I mean, always showing us love, always showing us support. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for uh, kind of blazing the trail there and setting us up. Yeah. <laughs> thank us. Thank you, dude. You uh, you are like, uh, like you said, the blueprint, man. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, we learn from the best.
But uh, yeah, we got Frankie G going up against B Blue here. This is to qualify for the final match. Ooh, okay. So whoever wins here will have one more match to win to get into the top 12 bracket tonight, starting right after this. I think we only have three more matches to stream, right? Until uh, top 12. Something like that. Will yeah, Capcom yeah. make a new versus game? I wish I had that answer for you. It didn't <laughs> matter what game. We just hope there's one. All right, let's see it. Frankie G, like you said, playing from SoCal, so a much different connection here. B-Blue, B-Blue been kind of dominant recently. Yeah, B-Blue has definitely been a, a pleasant surprise here. We lost some good Deadpool, you know? Absolutely, but that Dante Tong is kind of good. It's high. Just it's high. Every, every Dante, Dante thinks they're the best. Great. Every Dante thinks they're the best. Every Dante is the best. Let's go. Step over, avoiding the Doom Beam here. Frankie, Frankie doing well in the patient neutral, though. Mm. <laughs> Tilt <Not> at this. <laughs> hey, man, keeps him safe. Does not matter. You fight to see another day. Ooh, crouch medium. A deceptively good anti-air button from Deadpool, and that actually didn't combo. <laughs> it was like he got hit, and then the delay on top of it. Jam session connects. Bolo, no, nothing there. Laveria, man, getting the job done. Foot dive. Here we go, Doctor Strange. Got to watch the super. Buttergun meaty. Ooh, I love it. Counter hit jab. Yeah, able to find that with a launcher straight afterwards. Using that X Factor just to blow the lead open, knowing that Dante's going to have a tough time regardless of the situation here. You know, you got to bring the brother out here for this fight. Is he going to be able to dash up convert? Yes, he does. It's a foolishness, Dante. See me in game two. Stuff up with DT once again. Very nice. Okay, so Frankie G, man, maybe he's just always played for SoCal. This is looking good. <laughs> yeah, looking a little crisper than usual. He really wants to get in here for these finals, though. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. I mean, that's one of the things that we talked about in a bunch of other games this week too. Is that everybody's playing with a chip on their shoulder with Evo coming up, trying to get those guys, trying to get the reps in. Needy H on incoming rapid slash follow up, getting the job done here for Frankie G, taking it off and running with it right now. Ooh, not able to get the punish. X Factor very late. Yeah, I think there must have been a lot of indecision there. Ooh, projectile no. counter looking good here from D-Blue. Yeah, zero indecision on that one. Able to go through with the, the extra super as well. Oh, oh, oh my god. Frankie like, bro. <laughs> Goken, respect coming through. 24 months for the homie Goken, man. Thank you. That's the homie, man. We miss you, bro. Dang, look at that. The Strange just doing work here from B-Blue. Oh, no. One big drop, though. Frankie G still has that X-Factor on deck. Uses it to snap. Gets that homebreaker. Same side. And this could be the Frankie show now. Just got to watch out for that super. Keep it on incoming. Getting a little too much room there. Still almost able to answer. Jumps away. Not ripping the super, though. I don't want to get punished for it. <gasps> Watch out! One more high time, Frankie G. <laughs> Coming down with the Helmbreaker. I mean, that is one thing that we always point out about the strength of Frankie's game. You can't scramble with him. He's, his decision making is too quick. He's he's one of the better scramblers in the community, that's for sure. So fast. Yo, Lucy PM coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. Crouching medium, but just resets with a low. Frankie G tagged into Doom for the optimal combo. It looks like he might not even need to spend meter on this one. That's, oh my goodness, the drop. So crucial there to take care of Deadpool. Not going to make it happen. Here we go. Doctor Strange coming through. Alpha counter. Push him away with the Mystic Sword. Nice use of the X Factor there just for a cancel, but can't get a full confirm off of it. Look at, oh my goodness, you see that walked up forward, nothing there. Jam session, crossing you up, taking care of Magneto here. People are in great position now going into this. I feel like Bibu plays strains like Morgan. <laughs> like just rips out two projectiles and then rushes you down. 
Well, you should be happy Morgan doesn't have a teleport at least. That is the projectile counter, which does do a pretty decent option afterwards, but there we go. Is able to fall and get the answer. Very nice stuff. There we go. Four bars on deck. All you're going to have to do is probably just spend one here. Oh, Frankie, why do you do this to me? Or none. He just goes for the reset there. I like just going for the standing medium, though, recognizing you are a little late on the pickup. Projectile counter comes out, and it's going to guarantee the chip on that one. Yeah, good idea on Frankie's part to not try to save Doom there. Oh, oh no. my goodness. What just happened? It beat the level one super. Yeah, I ran right into the eye of Agamotto there. Look for the box dash H. No rapid slash catching Deadpool here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not again. He uh, can't keep getting away with this. This is so hard for Dante. Oh, if he neutral, neutral tech, he had it. Oh, combo for the second time. Finds the Helmbreaker and the Super Frankie G. Oh, to take it there. He's one away now, it looks. Man. No, that's three, right? No, no, he's one away. One more win. Oh, one more win. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I'm like, bro, one more that was win three. to qualifications. <laughs> He's almost there. Come on, bro. Stay with it. He, but that's all we talked about before the last match. I can't believe this guy. Frank, dude, Frankie be doing some nuts stuff, man. I lose myself in the match. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> yeah, big shout out to the homie Frankie, though. Let's go. Oh, speaking of Evo, by the way, in case you're interested, uh, obviously TNS is going to be out there. Mm -hmm. We're going to be uh, running the Evo side tournament for UNBC. Um, we're going to be streaming it as well. It's gonna be on this channel until top four, but uh, but yeah, it's gonna be really dope. And uh, for commentary, uh, Proxy's gonna make an appearance. Southpaw's gonna be there. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this yet, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway. I'm sorry if I ruined your announcement. Uh, Kinder Party is gonna be there, and. Ninja Nam is going to be there. Oh, dude, what a lineup, man. The boys. Uh, I can't wait to see those two. Man. So, we got a hell of a commentary team for Evo already. But uh, recently, just recently, my boy Wolf hit me up and iHeart Justice hit me up. They were a little too late to get into the bracket. I have no control over who gets in. So they were a little too late to get in the bracket. So we might be seeing them on the mic for a little oh, bit, too. Let's go, so bro. we'll see let's what we go. can do there. Fire. That'd be really, yeah, yeah. really good stuff. Like I said, the one thing is obviously uh, the side tournaments are under a big organization. Big shots to everybody that's uh, running the Vortex Gallery, making all the side events happen. But we gotta abide by their rules as far as you know all that is concerned. So. Oh, okay. The Ace is a noble. Ace is here <laughs> once again, rocking the clean purple. It's off against Noble, though. Noble, I mean, when you see Noble's team comp, there's the one thing you always have to think about. If Frank gets leveled, you're in huge trouble. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, Frank is can destroy you at level three. When you start getting the roll and then the mix-ups with jam session, it's very hard to block that. There we go, stocking player, Magneto gone. Oh, okay. I, I love that Noble didn't push block. Obviously, you know when you see that, you're looking for the guard break there from Nova. Yeah, but this is where the party starts. Is able to get the whiff super, get the levels up, and now maximum level Frank can do so well against oh. Nova. Completely invalidates your, you have to be very sneaky as Nova. A character who normally could just brute force through things, not against level five Frank. You're basically playing Frank's game at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to deal with it. X Factor on deck right there. Great confirm here from Noble. Gonna be able to take care of Dormammu. All right, so let's see it. Last character coming in, but it's hell of a character to come in. Got Magneto handles it. I not very well. <laughs> Good going. <laughs> that is going to take the kill there with the team super. And that's another thing about this team, too, is regardless of the order, this team team supers very well. Bro, 
Frank West and Dante, besties for resties. Like, you know the deal. For re for who? Besties for resties. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what anime that's from, you know where it's from. Here we go, hard tag. Yep. Team Super, two button tech. Get yourself leveled up. Take one snap. And then takes another. Tail end, level five, Frank. You're playing Frank's game at this point, man. Oh, slid underneath. Aces somehow is able to manage Ooh. to get the block. What a throw. Aces has to, you have to spend whatever you need to right here to take care of Frank. Yeah, definitely the most threatening character on the team, especially when the chainsaws are activated. <laughs> there we go. Follow up. There it is. Meaty M on incoming. EM Disruptor going to get the cleanup here. Going to get the kill on Dante. Yeah, Magneto just perfect for being able to extend those combos with that assist. Good fly out there from Noble. And this is that same situation that we saw from Aces. Noble having to do the same thing now. X-Factor on the first hit. It's so important to get yourself back into this one and have as much X-Factor as possible for the mirror. It was so fast. As soon as that Mag Blast came out, Noble knew it was going to connect, and you saw the X-Factor right on top of it. Mag Blast oh. hit, but it was a little too far. Dashed up with the light. Block. Just push blocks him off, though. <laughs> Smooth movement there to be able to pick it up. Goes into the level three. I don't think it's enough to kill, and he's not close enough to the corner for an extension. The M Disruptor. The disruptor. You know, it is weird watching uh, Magneto plank dash and fly in his Hagar slacks. Like, I, I, not the Hagar slacks. Bro, he's over here, like, he doing this. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we got golf at 12. Oh, my God, dude. Hey, tick throw. Very nice. for a TAC or a possible reset here. Hard tag. I forget that Frank just levels up. So blinking in Ralph Lauren. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and now with those two meters spent, level five activated. Nova, no amount of armor is going to be able to hold you back from that one. Dormammu, next one in, though. Oh, and the cross under jam session call. X-Factor on deck here to take care of Dormammu. Good decision here from Noble, taking care of one of Aces, his, if not his best character. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, doesn't even call the jam session, so he had so many layers waiting behind it. Disgusting, Noble. Hey, and the perfect to come through. Noble, what an answer. Making a two to one. And a huge shout out to Alex the Maestro coming through. 23 months, the Friday night. You ain't wrong. Oh, no. The happy birthday here. Ace is answering strong. Dante gone. Ooh, and he's able to get the reset there to get Magneto. So the last character in solo, oh. Frank, gets reset on. And Aces says, you think you're the only one that can provide some golden letters? That was disgusting. Great answer back from Aces and right back, back to back perfects. Oh my God, dude. Game five? Bro. <laughs> what, was this? what is this back to back perfect shenanigans? Bet you can't get the turkey. That'd be a team effort. Yeah, that'd be a team effort right there for sure. Bro, you ain't never had a turkey. Hey, Thanksgiving, homie. And neither of these guys. That's going to be no perfects <laughs> coming through for either of them. Yo, Gun Vanguard coming through 10 months now. Thank you so much for the support. Giving it up with the flight. That double shield, hard to deal with sometimes as Magneto. Just got to be creative with how you use uh, the disruptor. Just gonna choose to block the stalking flare. Didn't want to try and do anything too fancy to get away from it. Great blocks here. Oh, off the jam session, can't quite do it, and then gets the forward throw here. Yeah, finding that throw is so crucial in that situation, especially because it doesn't matter how much damage you do with this combo with Magneto. We know that the one thing that we need is the level up, and it is secured at this point. Man, 
so dangerous here. Mini Nova on incoming. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's so hard to see. It's so fast with the, uh, the roll, it's the a jam a, session. It's absolutely a pure guess. So now, it could be the final oh. mix up here. Aces not going to be able to get back up from this one. Noble, very strong showing. And does that secure Noble the spot? Noble is the one that's going to make it into the championship mm. bracket starting here pretty soon. Let's go. Love hearing this. Oh. Bro. <laughs> oh, my Get over God. There. Carl. <laughs> Escalante. I, that's the name of the game when you go all in. It, it can happen to you. It'd you bet like them all, that. you lose them all. It'd be like that he sometimes, He set my points, bro. man, bro. Oh, my God. So I don't know if you're going to Evo later, but don't take that mentality <laughs> when you're when you're at the casino, bro. We don't have to go all in there. I mean, we can all throw a dollar in a pot, bro. Split, okay. split okay. the FGC out. <laughs> so I'm gonna need everyone at Evo to let me borrow one dollar. <laughs> I'll be right back. That's a lot of dollars. I'll double your money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Only if Keith good. Kelly's going, then I'll give him a dollar. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see who takes the absolute last spot here in the championships. Dude, and it's between Frankie and KJ, that's a tough one to call because these two have been some of the highest performers in and out of this entire year. It can go either way. You know how KJ Master is. When that Morgan gets going, very hard to stop. And when we talk about it all the time, when Frankie's playing his best, Frankie can steamroll anybody. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see, though. Besides, like, Tong and Ray Ray and Jabril. But, uh, you know, other than that. Why you just start? Why are you going to do Because <laughs> I love Frankie, okay? <laughs> you know, Frankie can play ball with anyone except, you know. Except for, <laughs> except for half, the, half the roster. <laughs> Come on, man. We'll see if Frankie G can punch his ticket or if KJ is going to be the last one on the train. Frankie playing good today, man. Yes. We're going to find out. I'm going to say, Frankie, the one thing he has going for him more than anybody else is desire. Desire to win. I mean, a week for his big trip to Las Vegas, he is in SoCal boot camping. Like, <laughs> the guy is so hungry to play. Okay, once you see the rapid flash, it's guaranteed blocked. It's a free activation here, and we keep those fireballs rolling on the ground. Swords activated. Fine. Trying to get forward, nothing there. Virgil's gone. So losing Virgil to a meter drain fireball makes it even worse. I mean, that's the danger of playing that Virgil point. It's like it's so strong for being able to answer a lot of these 99 second gambits that characters can put you in, but then you lose your anchor, right? Like, yeah, I think the comeback factor with the dark level three Virgil is way more worth it than actual start. Magneto coming in the anchor. Magneto, not, not too bad of a choice here. He's a very mobile. Obviously, Magblast is pretty good for contesting fireballs. He can do a good job of stalling out a lot of this pressure. Oh, I don't know. The X-Factor there. Missile's hit. It's going to be very hard to actually approach Morgan. KJ's playing very solid right now. Oh, and that was actually really smart from Frankie to go for a couple crouching heavies to actually get underneath a couple times. Whether they were missed plinks or not, they worked out really, really well. And KJ, though, still has the answers with that S on the way down. Absolutely. We're gonna go to character select here. Frankie's gonna fix the team order. We are gonna start the Magneto this time. I mean, I like that way more than the Virgil, you know? Like, nope. <laughs> so we're gonna start the... <laughs> He's still gonna go with the Magneto. Yeah, he might have just not held the button. Or picked like in the wrong assist, you know, something could happen. It's not like he picked Ma the wrong assist. Yeah. Okay. okay, gotcha. It's not like Magneto doesn't have a like a good enough chance at the start of the match. You know? I mean that's the one thing you always have to think about. When it comes to a lot of matchups, a lot of matchups specifically on point. Oh, that thought as we got them both here. It's gonna go into the super. No, chooses not to, wasn't confident in getting both of them. It's okay, you know, that's still a lot of damage put on uh, KJ Masters, uh, Morgan, and Doom at this point. 
But the earlier the earlier in the points of these matches, you have a puncher's chance to get him at 99 seconds every time, even when it's characters that are slippery like Morgan. It's just one of those deals where you just can't get hit, man. Don't take any actual damage. I know blocking's one thing, and you're going to take some chips, but don't give Morgan more meter than she needs, you know? Oh, was looking for the launcher there, but KJ on the delay was able to get the punish. Oh, not enough right there. Falling down H, Doom gone. Hard tag in the Virgil. KJ Master trying to just finish this off. Mm, uh -oh. But the X Factor cancel. KJ a little too, uh, maybe too conservative with his block strings there. Yeah, this one might be biting him in the butt here. I mean, you literally gave away your anchor here, and now. Frankie G's Virgil can run wild and do whatever he wants here. Got to be careful from the level three, though. You know she has that crazy hard drive. Oh, hey, okay, but tries throw. to go for the throw. It does not work out. DP Super beats out through. Oh, my goodness. The swords actually save. It was DT rather than swords there. And that's the last little meter, too. KJ still got plenty of X-Factor left here. Oh, <laughs> it's not going to matter, though. Teleporting to Air S. That's why he went DT. So he can teleport and box dash backwards S. That made the deciding factor right there. You're saying he knew that was going to happen. He did. He's a future teller, Tom. You mean fortune teller? No, future teller. Oh, There's a G. distinct difference, yes. Is, is there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pushed away with the rapid slash. That should be the, no, actually doesn't combo. If we're going to tag, I don't think Virgil should be the tag here, though. I know he's thinking about it. Just trying to build up a second meter. It goes for the alpha counter. Very smart. But Dive did hit assist there. Shell kick there. Good conversion from KJ. Oh, and landing the TAC. He can spend the two meters to kill him if he wants, but instead it's going to go for the TAC again. Gonna have to cash out, DP Super, that's enough to take care of Doom. Oh no, Frankie. Can't even find room to go for a Super here. That's part of why it's so important to have those grounded fireball loops coming out from KJ. One Hellbreaker, X-Factor there, Teleport, has a chance here, Stand Jab! <gasps> Missiles do save there for KJ and taking full advantage of it and taking that game to a three. Just oh, dialing it up here. KJ one away from being able to get qualified in, finds the air throw and is going to get the activation they're looking for. Oh no, went right to the attack mode and paid dearly for it. Oh, Dr. Doom taking a lot of damage. Frankie has to slow it down. I know it's hard when you have Morgan Fireballs flying at you. This is the right call, though. Taking those two meters, you'll be able to have your shot. KJ blocks everything. Oh, God, Virgil got them both! What a decision from Frankie! Oh, maybe not everything. Most, you know, blocked most of it. Oh, my Just God. like that, man. X Factor does connect, nothing there. Helmbreaker, rapid slash. A little too far, goes into the swords. Beam does connect. Can he get to the other side? And does. Great confirm here. Drops it though. Easy punish. KJ all of a sudden really, really in this. Could close it out on Frankie G right here and right now. Still a little bit of X Factor left. Lots of meter. And he's got the incoming advantage Ooh, here. But a good trade. Call it out there. Make sure these missiles stay safe. Pushing them away a little bit at a time. No way. Goodness, KJ able to convert there. Frankie getting a little sloppy with his blocking. Hey, and the level three is able to connect KJ Master. Gonna be the one to take it three to one. Very well played.